Hi everyone. So this video is in continuation to my previous video which was about thumb sucking. So we'll continue our discussion with regards to its treatment today. Now for the treatment of thumb sucking we need to first understand that thumb sucking till the age of 4 is absolutely normal and parents need to relax but yes they need to keep uh, working on the child with regards to uh, you know in the cessation of the habit so that the child stops that habit but uh, till four years there's nothing uh, that scary to be anxious about nothing is going to happen in a day in fact till four years of age it's absolutely normal and uh, so nothing in particular is needed then now comes the age of four to six years now, uh, yes, obviously, uh, even before four years, parents do try to convince their child of leaving this habit. And obviously, they were unsuccessful and that is why the child is still continuing with this habit uh, at this age group. So the first thing that you can do is you can uh, start practicing psychological ploys and rewards. That means you can, you know, uh, display a chart or you can make some attractive chart on the uh, desk of the child or you can paste it over the desk of the child and you can uh, reward him with stars or good compliments um, on the time basis basically that means um, that if you uh, don't take your thumb inside your mouth for let's say um, two hours then uh, you'll get a star then you can keep on increasing it uh, like if for uh, four hours or for an entire day or for an entire night likewise so and then you can reward the child with the uh, um, compliments and stars or whatever small treats uh, whichever way you find your child will be attracted and more pleased of doing it that way you can do that way then you can also use something like the thumb guard so these are positive reinforcers and uh, these uh, sort of thumb guards if it's not available in the market you can even get it stitched by the tailor you can even get it done by your own so uh, these positive uh, reinforcers you know they will act as reminder if the child is really willing and unconsciously it goes into his or her mouth then this will act as a reminder because obviously then he or she will realize that oh yes i was not supposed to take thumb when she'll taste uh, or he'll taste thumb guard instead of thumb right then there's something even called as a negative reinforcers so if you see these mittens or bandages wrapped around their thumb or digit of whatever they suck and even uh, some bitter tasting medicines like for example you can have neem oil which is really bitter sour in taste you can apply it on their thumb or whatever digit they suck so uh, some doctors have reported them to be useful and the habit has even ceased but uh, you know these are uh, falling in the category of negative reinforcers because they somehow uh, negatively affect the child in the sense that uh, he or she might get irritated because that urge of uh, sucking their thumb is still there and when you're not and when they're not getting that pleasure uh, from it they might get irritated and you know uh, might not be that cooperative but anyways these two have um, shown to be uh, fruitful and effective so you can even try doing that then comes this age wherein the child has reached the age of school going now this is an age group wherein the child has tried but obviously was an unsuccessful and uh, hence still has this habit now in this case obviously um, you need to have some therapeutic intervention so these are two appliances that can be seen on your screen if you see the top one that's called as the palatal crib so these are obviously uh, they have modified versions that means they're removable appliances basically but they have modified versions in the form of fixed appliances also that means it's fixed in your mouth it cannot be removed it can only be removed by the dentist but um, otherwise these are removable appliances the child is taught how to take it and uh, put it outside and how you're supposed to take care of it basically all of that is told to the child and he's explained or he or she is explained that so this also helps in uh, obviously stopping that habit 
because obviously when you have something in your mouth you will not be able to place your thumb at that particular area and derive that pleasure which you used to before right and also uh, by this time uh, if your child has this habit of uh, digit sucking or thumb sucking it has created problems like open bite and all which i'd shown in my previous video so to correct that also uh, this uh, palatal crib uh, will be useful if you want i can uh, make a separate video on uh, these appliances exclusively about how to care for them and uh, how you can um, how it works and how it helps in improving uh, all those uh, malformations or all those uh, adverse effects that has already happened so yeah you can let me know in the comment section and then the other appliance uh, the other appliance that's usually given is the blue grass appliance as you see it's basically a modified version of palatal crib itself wherein instead of the rake as you can see in the palatal crib instead of those spikes or all those rakes we have a small ball wherein the child is quite busy with that ball it keeps on rolling with the tongue tip or whatever so yes so these are the two basic appliances that are most commonly used in um, helping the child uh, seizing the habit of thumb sucking or digit sucking so that's it uh, this was a, a very short and simple and uh, precise video that i thought of uh, you know um, making it for a layman because i didn't want it to be too expansive so that the viewers get bored if there's anything else you want to uh, ask me you can let me know in the comment section till then take care thank you